Blast fishing is one of the more pervasive threats to coral reefs in the world today. In the Philippines, it's illegal. In April 2006, Tony Aposa and Jojo de la Victoria accompanied a crack government team on a raid to arrest a gang of blast fishers. Even determining if a fish was caught by an illegal blast isn't easy. The first step is to look for outward signs, blood in the eyeball or internal organs protruding out the anus. But to be sure requires an internal investigation. The vertebra column is usually broken, internal organs crushed with blood in the organ cavity. The Visayan Sea, in the center of the Philippine archipelago, is so rich in marine biodiversity that it contains more species of marine life than even the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. But paradoxically, this biological wealth has attracted destruction and death. But a blast does more than just kill fish. It pulverizes the coral reef into rubble, sometimes leaving behind a crater three to four meters wide, and avalanches material down slopes, smothering coral colonies and further extending the damage. Blast fishing also takes a human toll. No one knows the exact number of injuries or fatalities on a yearly basis, but in villages where the practice is common, it is not unusual to see 5 to 10% of the male population missing hands or even arms. But in the end, it is about education. It is about making people aware of what they have and making people appreciate it and make people take better care of it. Tony Aposa has set up a school that teaches environmental awareness to young kids. Snorkel, this is your window to the underwater. The best teacher is a good example. If we showed the kids how beautiful, how rich the sea can be, if we just took care of it, we shall have planted a few seeds in their minds. No corals equals no fish. No fish equals 